What's up, everybody? This is Matt from Merrick Patriot News. Right next to me is Romeo. And today we have a video for you guys. And they're talking about uh, Mike Johnson releasing that January 6th videos. And he hasn't released it all because they're planning on blurring some faces out. Now, there's a lot of questions. Which faces are they blurring out? Are they blurring out people because they're afraid the FBI is going to go after them because they're at January 6th? Or uh, to, are they blurring people out because they might be... I don't know, informants or even working for the FBI itself. Yep. Yeah, let's take a look at this. This is interesting. I want to get to this next topic before we run out of time because I feel that it's very important and I feel that you can provide some um, some real detailed insight and perspective to this because I want to know what this really is, okay? Speaker Mike Johnson has promised us the J6 surveillance footage. There was another tranche that dropped today that I'm still taking a look through um because we haven't seen them all yet the speaker is delaying it because he says they need it to be edited take a listen trust the american people to draw their own conclusions we should not they should not be dictated by some narrative and accept that as fact so they can review the tapes themselves uh, we're going through a methodical process of releasing them as quickly as we can as you know we have to blur some of the faces of persons who uh participated in in the in the events of that day because we don't want them to be retaliated against and uh and and, and to be charged by the doj and and to have other uh you know concerns and problems so uh, that's a slow process to get it done we're working steadily on it we've hired additional personnel to do that okay see so when he said blur to blur out some of the faces of some of the people involved suggesting they might be subject to retaliation that immediately sent up signals for me, and I noticed it did a lot of other people, that I wasn't alone in my concern that perhaps, okay, I'll just pose it as a question. Is this for the sake of innocent people there who have been at the Capitol and the fact that sedition hunters go after them, which they find them anyway, as we know, um, or is this possibly to hide the identities of possible informants or, or people working with the government that day? I think it's all of the above. I, th I think that this is the, the direct result of the process becoming the punishment on both sides. So people who see what happened on January 6th one way versus another, if, if you saw it as a government put-up job, you're worried about the sedition hunters coming out against somebody who just stood there and exercised their First Amendment right, and the, and the speaker might be saying, we're going to blob, blob out their face so that they can't be subject to retaliation. If you're in the other way around and you think that that was an insurrection on the um, on the halls of Congress that day, and you want to protect the undercovers and the informants that were in the crowd that day doing the good bidding of the of the uh, the FBI and whoever else was in calling the shots. So I think that as a result of both sides going to be on the hunt for the, the next person that they can target, they're trying to just blur out everything. But what has happened now is justice delayed is justice denied. And there are people who are sitting in a gulag. Mm -hmm. And there's a, this is information that could exonerate them. And as a result of this slow, methodical process, they're going to continue to just die on the vine. I agree. You know, yeah, Matt, the bottom line, I'm calling bullshit on all this. It doesn't matter if they were FBI, human resources or human sources for the CIA or NSA. It doesn't matter if they were patriots. Nobody should be blocked. The video shouldn't be blurred out. You and I were talking before the show and the fbi the feds already have general footage okay there is no hiding someone's face from anyone but we the people remember that's who they're talking about blurring faces for for us okay so it doesn't wash i, I literally call bullshit. doesn't matter if they're fbi doesn't matter if they're protesters show everybody's face yeah. They, if, if the FBI was on film that day on January 6th, they deserve to be outed. Well, I think Mike Johnson is getting bad advice from someone that's uh, into the deep state that's convinced him to do this. I think he's better off releasing it. The fact is, like you said, the FBI, the DOJ, they have access to the original uh, footage. So they're going to be able to find that anyway. And any of these hunters that they're talking about, these uh, uh, hunters going out there finding these people, they're going to be able to find them without the video. They can do it by just by planes, by uh, also uh, 
plane tickets, uh, uh, phones, uh, cellular, cellular coverage, all sorts of stuff they can use to find people. They don't need the footage. And she's right about that. So you might as well just now blur it, and you might as well just keep everything the way it is, release it at a, a good, timely manner in order to, so people uh, that are being prosecuted can use it as evidence of what happened that day to actually exonerate themselves. Yep, it's, it's, it's exculpatory evidence for all of these people who have not went to trial, and it's appealable evidence for everyone who's, who's sentenced already. And it's such a miscarriage of justice for, for it to take so long for this video to come out. My take real quick on it is Mike is Johnson is obviously a brand new speaker. He's brand new to Congress four years ago. Uh, so he's moved up rather quick. He probably literally has a couple of hundred people who want his attention on all different types of matters at all times. So he's he's probably not able to put the amount of thought that's necessary into a hundred different topics. But this one, he just needs to step back and think about it. It doesn't help to blur anybody. That that gives favor to the feds. It hides the feds because they already got, like we've said, copies of the originals. They know all the people that they might want to arrest. Um, let's not hide the feds. Let's expose this for what it was or what it wasn't. But let's see it. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. Really appreciate it. Please hit the like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. Please turn the notification bell on so when we make new content, you'll be aware of it. We'll be live Monday morning at 930 Central Standard. Please join us and have a wonderful rest of your day.